Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter Firebase tutorial. In today's video, we are going to learn how to fetch the data from the different soft collection, collection within the soft collection and inside the soft collection. In many time, everyone fetch data from the collection, but in this time, we have fetch the data from the collection from the soft collection and also fetch data from the soft collection inside the soft collection. In this video, I'm not going to code, but I will instruct you each and every steps how to do it and i'll explain the code how is it work why this steps is required and how you can fetch it we are starting from the firebase setup don't forget to set up your flutter project with firebase and here we have the home screen that we have display the list of item first your first steps is to create the model according to the collection according to the collection and sub collection i'll make you clear in each and every steps here is a collection called faculty and i'll create the model one model called the faculty this faculty model represent the main faculty color inside that faculty we have the one field and one list of course under this faculty this course is a sub collection here inside this faculty we have the name one name field and the one sub collection on this both the document here and this is the factory constructor to create a faculty instance from the firestore data if you create the factory constructor here it will make it easy to display the field after you have created the factory constructor by just calling the name you can directly fetch it otherwise you need to write this data and name in every place course is the sub collection here inside this course we have a multiple document in every document here is the name field but in some document there is the semester sub collection here course inside the course here we have the name field and semester sub collection this is the list of semester under the course okay and this is again the constructor factory constructor to create the course instance from the firebase data okay and if you see this inside this document we have again one sub collection inside the sub collection okay at that time here is the semester sub collection inside the semester sub collection we have a name and order two parameter only see name and order two parameter no more sub collection after that here faculty is a collection and here is the document both document have sub collection and the name field course sub collection have a multiple document some document have a sub collection and some document only have a name field and inside the semester sub collection here is the two field name and order after some time i will also show you by creating another document here and it will be directly reflect on the app okay after the model is ready and if you create this type of collection and sub collection next step that we will start to fetch the data from collection and sub collection here you can easily know first we will initialize once and reuse to perform the database operation we have created the firebase instance here next step is we have created a method to fetch all the faculty their course and age course semester this is necessary because firestore operation are async and may take some time i will make it async here and this faculty list initialize an empty list to store all the faculty of Object. after that the main things is here i'll make them loop through the as faculty document in the snapshot and this loop is needed to process as faculty individually and fetch its sub collection here we have the collection called faculty and we'll filter it called document this is the document and inside this document we have the course sub collection first we have fetch this and again we have need to fetch the data inside the course of collection here and i'll again initialize the empty list to store the course object from the faculty this list will hold all the course associated with the current faculty and same process loop through as course document in the course snapshot here we have only phase until the course of collection but here we have phase all the data until the semester sub collection and at the end i have used the to map function to transform as document data into the semester instance this step is necessary to convert raw firestore data in your model object and this two is for course and faculty this for semester sub collection here what does i have to course dot from firestore it takes the course data its id and the semester list it will be required to build the hierarchical relationship between the course and semester inside the faculty we have the course and 
semester that's why it will be required to build the hierarchical relationship the last faculty dot add it will create the faculty object with its course faculty dot from fire store take the faculty document data and the list of course this both is similar necessary to complete the hierarchy hierarchical relationship faculty course and semester here we have written the full build list of faculty with the nested course and semester this is the final output containing all faculty data is structure is a faculty object and this is the try cache process that we have used we have used the try cache it will handle any error that occurred during fetching process and it will help for developer as well print the error to, to the console for debugging purpose and if nothing then return an empty, empty list to prevent the app from crashing if data fetching falls that's why you need to use try catch to prevent error and to make it easy to find out the error and last we have fetched the data we have created the model we have create the collection and sub collection the last steps is we need to display it the body of this sca scaffold contain the main context and here we have used the future builder to handle the asynchronous data fetching and inside the future i'll call the firestore service dot get faculty to fetch the list of faculty object from the this future list this function get get faculty function i'll already make it async during this region and here you can see the circular progress indicator because if snapshot dot connection status equal to waiting then we have returned the circular progress indicator if snapshot dot has error then we have returned the error message if snapshot didn't have any data or snapshot dot data is empty then we will display the no faculty found just I'll, I'll show you how to see no faculty found go to the service and just add something on the on the collection name this collection is not exist in our firebase that's why you can see no faculty found if you correct the name then it will again display it after this all the process if connection is waiting circular progress indicator if snapshot error so the error message if snapshot didn't have data and empty so this text otherwise and display the list builder and display the data that will available in the fire store I will make it faculty dot length the number of item in the list is the number of faculty and inside the item builder first I will get the faculty object from the current index this faculty object contains its name and list of the course and I have used the ex expansion tile why because I want to show this is the collection this is the collection and inside this collection we have the three documents name AI machine learning and other I will show you this is the faculty we have a faculty name called AI and machine learning inside this we have the three document this three document have name called ai machine learning and other ai if you visit here if you click on this expansion tile inside the expansion tile you can find one first semester here inside this first ai you can again find the semesters of collection inside this semesters of collection we have name order field and if you click this machine learning then you can't find anything see you can't find anything same is same for other ai as well and if you click this document and this is the health and population you can find the name here and you if you expand it you can find health and population which is the course of collection name course item name which is health and population inside the health there is the another sub collection called last semester this is called and inside the population you can find anything this this style is not expanded by this way you can easily phase all the data from the collection sub collection inside the sub collection and too many loop inside the collection this type of structure sub collection structure will be required during the real world project the project is long then it will require the collection inside the co collection inside the sub collection another sub collection inside the collection and multiple time if you create the chat app then it will also require this type of sub collection in previous video i will instruct you how to create the sub collection in this video i will instruct you how to paste the data from the sub collection okay that's it for today's video we'll meet you on the next video okay bye, -bye.